the Earth is actually flat. This is a sentiment that is still surprisingly shared by many, despite the boundless number of scientific proof against it. Nope, science has not stopped this belief to still be widespread at all. But for the sake of argument, let's say the Earth was actually flat. What would happen? Here are various observations people have noted on this everlasting question. Gravity, no gravity flat Earth, would have all gas spread evenly in the atmosphere. That would result in a massive drop in the atmospheric pressure. Water would not be in a liquid state at lower pressures. A gravity version of the flat Earth would concentrate the atmosphere by the North Pole, and sun and moon revolutions would turn it into a mega hurricane. The concentration of heavier gas would make the whole air diffuse the sun's light, causing the entire planet to be either deep blue during the day or faint orange at night. Needless to say, life would be impossible. Second, the mechanisms making the sun and moon gravitate inside the dome would cause big earthquakes from the vibrations. The illuminated magic disks would steer the entire atmosphere into continuous vertices across the pizza world. Finally, the dome would kill us as pieces of it keep falling off every time, media writes. It's been falling for 6,000 years now, since the iron inauguration. No one has scanned it to check its structural integrity. With all the pressures the sun and moon put on it, it can fall at any time and end the wonder world. There are good things though. We would just need a few satellites on the suspension sphere where the sun and moon are suspended for GPS, TV broadcasting, etc. Dome exploration would be way cheaper. Gravity would not work. You would actually not fall off the edge. Gravity, according to NASA, is the force by which a planet or other body draws objects towards its center. Because the Earth is a ball, all things on its surface are drawn in the same direction, straight down. Incidentally, gravity would also totally preclude the Earth actually being flat because it would eventually make the planet collapse into a spherical shape, which is why all planets are spheres. But never mind. Let's say for some reason the Earth kept its flat shape and gravity continued to do its thing. If you were in the center of the Earth disk, which most flat Earth maps say is the North Pole, you'd experience gravity pretty much the way we experience it on our round Earth. But as you got closer to the edges, things would get weird. First of all, a pancaked planet might not have any gravity. It's unclear how gravity would work or be created in such a world, says James Davis, a geophysicist at Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory. That's a pretty big deal, since gravity explains a wide range of earthly and cosmetic observations. The same measurable force that causes an apple to fall from a tree also causes the moon to orbit the Earth and all the planets to orbit the sun. People who believe in a flat Earth assume that gravity would pull straight down, but there's no evidence to suggest it would work that way. What we know about gravity suggests it would pull toward the center of the disk. That means it would only pull straight down at one point in the center of the disk. As you got increasingly far from the center, gravity would tug more and more horizontally. This would have some strange impacts, like sucking all the water toward the center of the world, and making trees and plants grow diagonally since they develop in the opposite direction of gravity's pull. Solar Problems – The Problem with the Sun In the model supported by the science of the solar system, the Earth revolves around the Sun because the Sun is much heavier and has a greater gravitational pull. However, the Earth does not fall into the Sun because it is in orbit. In other words, the Sun's gravity is a single action. The planet is also smoking in a direction perpendicular to the surrounding objects. So if the gravity of the Sun, Earth is destroyed, the Earth will shoot in a straight line and push it out of the solar system. But if that doesn't happen, the Sun's linear momentum and gravity together, leading to a circular orbit around the Sun for Earth. The flat Earth model places our planet at the center of the universe, but does not show the Sun orbiting the Earth. Instead, the sun continuously circled around our sky continuously like a lamp. There is no perpendicular momentum, but will help create orbit. It is not clear which force will keep the sun and the moon suspended on Earth instead of hitting the Earth directly. Davis said, Similarly, in a flat world, satellites will likely not be real satellites. How do they turn around a disk? There are a number of important satellite roles that will be exploited when they cannot even work, Ken Davis said. For this reason, he thinks it is impossible to think of why GPS will work on flat Earth. 
If the sun and moon only revolve around a flat Earth side, there must be a day and night procession. And it will explain the season, eclipse, and many other phenomena. The sun may also be similar than Earth to not be burned or hit by our planet or moon. However, we know that the sun is more than 100 times the diameter of Earth. Removing Heaven and Earth Deep below ground, the solid core of Earth generates the planet's magnetic field. But in a flat planet, that would have to be replaced by something else. Perhaps a flat sheet of liquid metal. That, however, wouldn't rotate in a way that creates a magnetic field. Without a magnetic field, charged particles from the sun would fry the planet. They could strip away the atmosphere, as they did after Mars lost its magnetic field, and the air and oceans would escape into space. Tectonic plate movement and seismicity depend on a round Earth, because only on a sphere do all the plates fit together in a sensible way, Davis says. Movements of plates on one side of the Earth affect movements on the other. The areas of the Earth that create the crust, like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, are counterbalanced by places that consume crust, like subduction zones. On a flat Earth, none of this could be adequately explained. There'd also have to be an explanation for what happens to plates at the edge of the world. One can imagine they might fall off, but that would presumably jeopardize the proposed wall that prevents people from falling off the disc-shaped world. Perhaps one of the most glaring oddities is that the proposed map of the flat Earth is totally different. It places the Arctic at the center while Antarctica forms an ice wall around the edges. In such a world, travel would look very different. Flying from Australia to certain parts of Antarctica would, for example, take forever. You'd have to travel over the Arctic and both Americas to get there. In addition, certain real-world feats, such as traveling across Antarctica, which has been done many times, would be impossible. Neighborhoods on the edges of the disk would be really weird looking. On a world where gravity is all mucked up at the edges, there would be some strange looking forests. That is, if you completely leave out the part where there wouldn't be any water on the edges of the Earth because gravity would pull it all back to the middle of the disk. But anyway, if the trees were somehow able to pull water out of the air, and let's face it, on a flat Earth anything is possible, or maybe just didn't need water at all because, like human breatharians, they can survive on nothing but the energy of the universe. They would all grow at a very strange angle. According to the Earth Institute, trees grow opposite from the pole of gravity. So, on those extreme outer edges of the planet where gravity is pulling everything at an angle back toward the center, the trees would actually grow diagonally. This would make for some really funky looking neighborhoods since we'd also be building houses in other buildings to compensate for the strange pull of gravity. We'd have to build sloping concrete platforms for all the buildings so that occupants would feel the pull of gravity straight down instead of at an angle. And with all those diagonally sloping trees, crooked flower beds, and pedestrians who are constantly having to fight gravity just to get a Starbucks, human neighborhoods would be really bizarre places. So there you have it, some of the most astute observations if the Earth was flat, which to be fair, it most likely isn't. I mean, I don't know about you, but if the Earth was flat, a lot of things we're accustomed to now, like gravity and sunlight, would not behave the way they do. What do you think though? Do you believe the Earth is flat? Say your arguments down in the comments below.